Happy Monday, everybody. Here's hoping you had a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining us here for Wake Up Charlotte to go. I'm Ben Thompson and I'm Sarah French. Let's send it over to Larry Sprinkle for a check of your forecast on this Monday. Hey there, Larry. Hey, good morning. It has not been the prettiest picture of Uptown Charlotte, which normally has one of the greatest skylines in the world, but you can't see the buildings at low deck of clouds out there. Here's our UV index forecast for today. It's moderate levels and that is good considering the amount of uh, sunshine we had the past several days. OK, here's the way it looks as far as severe weather threats. None of that anywhere close to us. That big C indicates the most severe weather will be in the Dakotas and Minnesota today. None of that, as we said, for the Charlotte area. Now, between today and this weekend, we could get well over two inches of rain right here in our area as we check your hour by hour forecast. Noon time about 79 degrees right in the middle of the afternoon, particularly around four o'clock or so. Rain, even some heavy thunderstorms. Temperatures today should be in the low 80s as we check your seven day forecast into the upcoming weekend. A little bit of a cool down tomorrow before we hit 88 on Wednesday. More showers possible. Same on Thursday. Close to 90 degrees, upper 80s on Friday. This weekend, half and half, I think the best day for this weekend will be Sunday. Only a slight chance of showers. And that's your first morning forecast, Sarah. Larry, thank you. Today, CMS will fight for millions of dollars left out of next year's budget. Good Monday morning. Later today, CMS and county commissioners will meet again at the building behind me. They'll be talking about that $56 million that the county wants to withhold until CMS has a detailed plan on how to improve low performing schools. Of course, this meeting will take place before a possible mediation later. If you want to see that meeting, log on to our website at WCNC.com. Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. This budget discussion coming as Mecklenburg County says CMS failed to come up with a plan to help low performing schools and this could affect your children differently depending on what grade they're in. The state of North Carolina says a quarter of Charlotte Mecklenburg schools are low performing, but that means something different based on what grade your child's in. Let's connect the dots. A big part of a school score is based on the grades they teach. In elementary and middle schools, they measure math, reading, and science scores. For high schools, they factor in things like graduation rate and college entrance scores. The state then assigns each school a letter grade. And just like when you brought your report card home to mom and dad, schools do not want to see D's and F's. That is considered low performing. And state law requires the district come up with a plan to boost those scores. And that is connected to dots. Turning to more top stories of the day. Today, the vaccine clinic at Bojangles Coliseum is reopening with new hours. You can get the COVID vaccine there every day, but Sunday. The clinic is offering all three types of the vaccine by walk-in or online appointment. Good Monday morning to you. I'm Billie Jean Shaw. Here in North Carolina, public schools are mandated to offer in-person summer school options to help students who have fallen behind during the pandemic. Now, CMS, their summer program begins next Monday, June 14th. The district is still recruiting teachers for the summer camp and is offering $1,200 bonuses for three weeks and $2,500 for six weeks in addition to regular pay. Union County Schools are also offering a $1,200 bonus for educators involved in their summer program. City Council is nearing a final decision on the Charlotte 2040 development plan. Tonight, leaders are going to discuss the final draft of the plan before putting it to a vote. City Council has been debating for weeks whether to allow duplexes and triplexes to be built on lots that are currently zoned single family. Leaders are expected to take a final vote on the plan at the end of this month. Several government buildings are reopening to the public today. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Government Center is not fully open just yet, but people will be allowed to attend today's Board of Commissioners meeting in person. In Gastonia, the Garland Center, Police Department and many recreational facilities will reopen to the public today as well. Good morning, everybody. A big talker on social media is President Trump's recent visit to North Carolina. He was here over the weekend for the North Carolina GOP convention in Greenville on Saturday. Big topic was the Senate 2022 race. Take a look at our post from WCNC reporter Brandon Goldner saying that Laura Trump, who is the former president's daughter-in-law, announced that she will not run after there was a lot of buzz that she was considering a bid. Well, minutes later, Mr. Trump endorsed Ted Budd, who represents the 13th district, which includes Rowan County and parts of Iredell County. You can't pick people that have already lost two races and that do not stand for our values. So I'm going with Congressman Ted Budd, complete and total endorsement. 
So the former president did not endorse the former governor, Pat McCrory, who was also at the convention. He tweeted out this saying, I'm disappointed that President Trump has endorsed a Washington insider who has done more to oppose the Trump agenda than anyone in this race. The Bud campaign saying immediately after the endorsement that they saw an uptick in donations and they hope that they will catch uh, this will help them catch McCrory's donations. Former President Trump also discussing discussing at the convention about the pandemic, saying that China should pay for reparations for COVID-19. Join the conversation. Drop us a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are from the convention with our hashtag Wake up CLT, guys. It's funny because a uh, Trump endorsement will definitely help Ted Budd in this case mm-hmm. in the primary. Could hurt him, though, in the general, depending. We'll see what happens. All right. Thank you, everybody. And make sure to watch us every morning starting at 4.30 a.m. on Wake Up Charlotte.